Joanna Barker is an Innu Mi'kmaq singer, songwriter, and musician from Grand Falls, Windsor, and a member of the Halibu Mi'kmaq First Nation. If it's time that you need. She studied developmental psychology at St. Evex University and currently works as a music teacher at the Mushwa Innu Natwashish School. There, she volunteers as the after-school theater arts teacher and brought five students to the Labrador Creative Arts Festival this year to perform a play they wrote. She's also facilitated daily after-school music clubs, focus groups, and private lessons. Barker's passion for music, particularly its connection to young people in communities, fuels her drive to go above and beyond in fostering well-being, openness, opportunity, and friendship. She's developed and facilitated camps for youth with the National Arts Center Music Alive program and is programming director at Girls Rock NL and co-director of St. John's Women in Music. Julie Lewis is a St. John's-based award-winning artist, animator, and designer. She studied at Memorial University's Grenfell Campus, Sheridan College, Algonquin College, and Dalhousie University. She devotes most of her time to drawing, teaching, and studying art. As the owner of Sassy Tuna Studio, Lewis brings her enthusiasm and energy to teaching traditional and digital art to youth across the province, providing a customized approach for budding artists to build their creativity. Her emphasis on student-centered art enrichment helps young people prepare their portfolios for illustration and animation and explore the creative powers. Michelle McKinnon is an artist and educator who resides in Corner Brook. McKinnon graduated with a BFA and MFA in visual arts from York University. She's participated in residencies at the Grenfell Art Gallery, the Banff Center for the Arts, the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, Russia, and Ontario's Sparkbox Studios. An arts educator, she's taught at Memorial, York, and Algoma universities. Her work, largely graphite drawings, capture the intricate details of textile surfaces and corporal fragments. McKinnon's art has been exhibited in galleries across North America and Russia, and she's the two-time recipient of the Elizabeth Greenshields Foundation Grant. Thank you.